All right, breast augmentation vlog number two. I have made an appointment, or I've made two appointments to see two doctors in two different consultations. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, but anyway, I talked to my friend who got hers done and she referred me to two different doctors and so I made appointments with them to get a consultation. One of them I know was a free consultation because I mentioned Real Self, that website that I mentioned in my last video, realself.com. Basically just, you know, a form for anyone who's gotten any sort of plastic surgery and it talks about the doctors and their views and the doctors answer questions. So some on, or I think on most of the doctor's profiles, it will let you, it'll tell you to mention real self when you want a consultation and it'll be free because the one I went to was originally going to be $75. But then I was like, oh, well, I was on this real self website and it said that it was going to be free. And she's like, oh, well, there you go. You did exactly what it said to do. And that was to mention real self. So that appointment I made for June. <laughs> just for the consultation. Uh, I, I don't know why I didn't think about it, but I guess he's busy, you know, doing consultations every week, you know, so I, I guess it's no surprise that he's not open until June, which is fine with me. I'm not really in a hurry to get them. I There's no timeline for me, so it doesn't really matter. But that one's in June, and she was very nice to me on the phone, actually. She gave me a lot of initial information first, and she told me the cost of what it might be and it will be about 5800 if you're just getting a regular breast augmentation and nothing else. She said that was about the price it was going to be and that's basically what I want to get so I'm going to plan for that and I thought that was pretty good. I was actually expecting it to be a lot more for her because this guy had a lot of great reviews. My friend recommended him. He's on real self and like there's nothing below five stars on him and I know I shouldn't just trust the reviews but reviews really help you gotta admit. So she gave me already a lot of information initially that you know I needed. Um, so that's gonna be in June. June 24th, so hopefully by then I'll get a video up and let you guys know how that went. And then I made a second appointment for a different doctor for May 6th, actually. That one's coming up much closer than the June one, of course, so I'm excited for that. It's only in maybe a couple weeks. So I just want to let you guys know that I was that I already made appointments for consultations, and I didn't want you to think that I had abandoned this and that I'm just never gonna post again. It's just my consultations aren't gonna be until next month and then the month after that because they're so busy. When I went to see my friend who got it done, she gave me this little booklet here that's, um, I don't know how old it is, maybe it's a little out of date, but um, it still gets some really good information in here about, it gives, it has like a little glossary for the terms, like the terms they typically use. Uh, during a breast uh, augmentation. I don't know if this is backwards. I think it is. Sorry. Well, whatever. But it's really helpful. It has all the terms, the whole glossary in here, so you know what they're talking about. Then it is, there's another next chapter is complications. I don't know why I'm showing you it anymore. You can't even read it. Uh, but it basically talks about the different kinds of things that could happen after you get it done. And not only that, but it talks about the different kind of uh, cancers or disorders that you can get because of it. Um, like, there's so many cancers involved. I mean, it's not that it'll give you cancer, it's that you might have a greater risk of it after getting it done. But if, especially, you know, like uh, when people talk about breast cancer, it's not really that it, it says in here that it's not really that it causes breast cancer, but more that it makes it hard to detect breast cancer, obviously. Like in the, in the mammograms, you know, the, the implant's probably in the in the way, or when you're trying to feel around for lumps, you, know, you can't really feel much because the implant's there. So you don't know what's a lump and what's an implant, maybe. I don't know. That's what I'm guessing. But, yeah. So it basically tells all the, the complications that can happen after getting breast implants. Next! So this book, though, is basically kind of promoting a certain kind of gel. Uh, silicone gel, I think it's natural. Natural! 
gel. That's what it's called. And it's promoting a certain kind of gel. So, but it also gives a lot of information about breast implant surgery anyway. So this was really helpful. If you have a friend who's done it, please ask them. They might have something like this. I didn't get to ask her, unfortunately, what I should bring, although I already kind of have an idea of what I should bring. So I know, at least for now, I have to bring my questions, which he's probably already going to answer without me asking them anyway, I'm sure, because they're, they're the very um, obvious questions for this kind of thing, like how much is it going to cost, what do you think is going to look good on my body, you know, how big should I go, what's the recovery time, all those kind of obvious questions I know he's probably going to answer, but I'm going to bring that with me just in case so I can reference it you know, during the consultation. Hopefully I can. I don't know how long it's going to be. Yes, yeah, so I'll be bringing those qu those uh, questions that I have for him. The second thing I was going to bring are my reference pictures, because I hear from everywhere that that helps a lot. So I made this little booklet of boobs. These. Uh, <laughs> I made it. I made a little booklet because I was, I wanted to be a little, you know, professional and and by the way, I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. These are not private photos of anybody that I took, and I'm just sharing them in this video. These are these are boobs that I found on the internet, and so they're already up there for everybody to see, and millions of people have probably already seen them. So I I saw these, and I was like, that's what I want mine to look like, you know. So this is you know I try to get a good variety of pictures you know, naked, <laughs> uh, frontal, I tried to get side, I got kind of a side there, Ooh, those are nice, huh? Um, and then I also tried to get clothed, well I guess this isn't really clothed, but covered basically, uh, so you can see uh, this is what I want them to look like in a sports bra, this is what I want to look like in a swimsuit, um, this is what I want to look like in a bra, in another sports bra, so these are my reference pictures for now. They're kind of grainy because my printer sucks, but it's the best I could do. And I'm in a little book so they keep them together because I'm professional like that. But I try to get a, vi a variety of uh, different looks and and um, just basically what I saw and what I liked. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're not all the same exact size, all of these, because they're all different people. Uh, but they kind of looked around the size that I wanted, so I, I, that's why I took them. Not because they said they were a C or anything, but just because they looked like what I wanted to get. So I didn't go off of size. So, reference pictures and my list of questions. I keep them in a little folder that I'm going to bring and stay really organized, hopefully. But that's all I really know to bring so far. I. I'm sure he's going to answer all my questions and everything's going to be fine. I, I just don't want to be underprepared and uh, just l can you please let me know what else I can bring to the consultation because I, that's all I can think of right now. Yeah, that's all I can think of. And um, I know that in some, I don't know if in all, it happens at all or unless you have to request it or get a different appointment, I'm not sure. but. Do they actually like check you on the first consultation? Like, just, you know, look at your boobs and see what you like? I mean, I would have thought they would if you're really looking to find a doctor. So, so yeah, I'm just, uh, it's just a quick little update letting you know that I have made my appointments. I've made at least two. I'm planning to make more, maybe at least three more. I'm not sure, unless I absolutely fall in love with one of them right away and I have no objections whatsoever then maybe not, but I plan to do more because I don't want to just... I want to have options, obviously, when it comes to my body. I want to be able... I want to be sure about what I'm doing with it. And who knows, uh, maybe after all these consultations I'll decide that I actually don't want to do it, and I, I'm afraid if that, you know, if it'll happen. I don't want it to happen because I want to do it really bad. I've been so excited. All I can think about is this, and I actually had a dream about it, too. So that is where I am right now, just updating you guys on that, uh, hopefully in May, uh, so that'll be in like a couple weeks, I'll have another video about my first consultation, I'll let you know what he said and everything. 
and then after that hopefully if I'm not set on that guy then June at the end of June hopefully I'll have another video up talking about my second consultation and so on and so forth and hopefully it won't get boring anyway thank you for listening for this quick vlog I just wanted to let you know what's going on I'm still wanting to do this and I'm ready and even if it has to happen next year that's fine but as long as it happens I will be happy and so just one more step closer to you know breast augmentation so we'll see how that goes uh, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I'll catch you in my next video thanks bye